Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we're looking at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, one six scale collectible figure, Donatello. This is from 3-0. He's the last of the four turtles. You guys have already seen me review Raphael, Leonardo, and Michelangelo. If you haven't, you should check out those videos because these figures are pretty cool. If you're a one six scale collector and you like the turtles, these are probably figures you wanna pick up. And I'm gonna start off right off the bat by saying that Donatello might be the best one. Now I have to say, on top of that, he's actually my least favorite redesign for these Michael Bay movies, but the figure itself is particularly good. So let's get him off the stand and take a closer look. All right, so you guys know that Donatello is a skinnier turtle than the other ones, and he's kind of lanky, so let's give him a height measurement. He comes in at just about 13 and a half inches. So he's pretty well scaled with the other turtles. Uh, they're just too big to get them all on here in the video. So at the end of the video, I'll have a photo that will show you all four of them together so you can see how they're going to look. But I'll tell you right now, they look really good. They look good by themselves, but when they're all together, they look even better. So that's a pretty cool thing. Now before we get into the review, let's look at the accessories. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is the headset that just sits on his head. It's really nicely done. There's a lot of detail in it. It's a little tricky sometimes to get it to sit just the way you want it, but if you insert the uh, bandana through the opening in the back and then set it on there, it's pretty good and there's a ton of detail on it. The only real problem is this piece right here, which looks like it would be a microphone, is really warped from the packaging, so you'll have to heat that up with a hairdryer or something. Just be extra careful because it's super tiny and most likely very fragile. So be careful with that, but you're not going to have too much trouble and uh, it does look really good. Lots of nice detail and sculpt work on there. Another accessory we can look at right now is the glasses. They look really, really nice. Uh, they're a little difficult to keep them on the actual figure, but they have the clear lens, they have the uh, semi-translucent frames, and the tape in the middle. They look really, really good. Another accessory you might want to count is the necklace. It's technically a separate piece. You can remove it, but it comes on the figure, so it's not really an accessory. But it is an actual bead necklace on rope, so that's really cool. I mean, everything on this guy, all the straps, obviously some of them are like simulated materials, so they're not actually leather or metal, but they all look like and it's really nice and all the buckles are fully functional and that kind of thing so it's pretty cool these guys are not short on the details they definitely have a lot going on uh, it's kind of funny I said that because the box art shows headphones around his neck and I don't know if that's just concept art or if it was actually like that in the movie I didn't get the movie to check just for the review but there are things that may be missing but it's nothing that's really gonna make a big difference so continuing on with the accessories we also have these tablets He's got one on his hip right here in the front. They are removable. They don't do anything, obviously. They don't have that much detail, but they're there, and they're glossy plastic, and they have these nice fake leather pouches. So there's one there, and then there are also two more in the back here. So it's they count as accessories. You're going to just probably stick them in there, but that's okay. They look good. They're nice. They're accessories. Then we have his weapons, of course. And in order to use his weapons, you have to look at his hands first. So he has two open palm hands, two gripping hands, and two closed hands, or fist hands. So that's pretty cool. We have six total. And then we do have his bow, or his staff, which is really nice because you have this main center part. And then for the ends, you have option pieces. You have the short ones, or you have the extended ones. Now, for my personal taste, the extended ones are just way too long. It's not going to be easy to make it look good in a display, so I would use the short ones, but it's going to be up to you, so you have the options. So it's pretty cool, pretty decent amount of accessories, especially considering the fact that he's got the most stuff going on than any of the other turtles, or of all the turtles. He's got lots of the uh, like cloth and that kind of stuff going on. You can see down in the legs we have armor, bandages down here for his pants, brown cloth. We have these things, which... They look like circuit boards, but then they also look like solar panels. I don't really know what they are, but they're there. We have the radio up here in the chest. We have the uh, surge protector or power strip down here. Just He's loaded with lots of details. His backpack alone is covered in stuff. So there's lots to look at on this guy, and it makes him... I think he's probably the best of the bunch. All in all, he's got loads of detail, which is really cool. But not on top of that, he's probably got the most consistent paint job out of all of them. You can see at the seam on the shoulder here, 
that it's all the same color for the most part. The seam, while you can see it, is probably the least visible of all of the turtles. His head matches his neck. It, it just looks really, really good. The shell's painted nicely on the front and on the back, even though you can't see too much because of the, the backpack. You can adjust this, by the way. It is floating. It is actually on the straps, and the straps do have... Um, you probably won't be able to adjust too much because they're down here in the horizontal, but you can kind of slide it forward and get the backpack to come up a little bit. So you can adjust that. And it all just looks really, really nice. The cloth bandana looks really good. I think you guys are going to enjoy this a whole bunch. So let's just run through the articulation because unfortunately, that is the weak point on this particular figure. Some of them may not have the issues this one has, but... Uh, we'll see. I think some issues will be universal. So the head's on a ball peg like all the other ones, but you're going to have to be super careful when posing it because, as you saw right there, the glasses start to fall off. This piece just sits on there. There go the glasses. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to take this off for the rest of the review, which he looks good without it, by the way. They did a really nice job with the head and neck area. You can see there how it's very much more seamless despite having a seam it looks really good so you can move the head around on the ball peg no problem at all he has a little bit extra paint in his eyes compared to like Raphael so looks really good no problem with the head the shoulders have that ball peg where the arm connects to the torso you don't get a ton out of it but then that ball peg connects to a hinge which lets you bring the arm all the way up you do get some folding in the shoulder I'm sure you guys can see that but it's not a super big deal and you can kind of hide it with the harness so you know, be aware of it, but I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker. You do get a bicep swivel. It's built into the shoulder, so it's a little tricky to use, and it's going to take some loosening up, but it is in there, so that's a good thing. The uh, arm will go all the way around, forward and back, no problem at all until it hits the shell, so that's a good thing. The elbow pad here is a loose, floaty piece, so that's kind of cool. The arms are still rubber bodysuit over articulation, so you may end up with some problems, and in this case, we have some problems. Uh, he actually has the best looking arms out of all of them. Once you bend them, the um, the creases don't stand out as much. But unfortunately, this particular figure, this arm does not want to hold his pose very well. The, uh, the top of the two elbow joints will work on this guy. Yours may be better, I don't know. But the lower one doesn't hold anything really at all. As soon as you touch it, it's going to loosen up and just pop back. So be aware of that. It's probably not universal. Hopefully it's not. But if it is you should know before you buy it. For the wrists, we just have a ball peg, but the, it, it works really well. It's a lot more hidden than some of the other ones, despite the fact that he's a little bit skinnier. It looks nice. Also, his hands are obviously a lot thinner than some of the other turtles, so he can hold his accessory pretty easily, the staff. Now for the torso articulation, his joint is all the way down here, down here toward his waist, which is pretty cool because you don't see it. He doesn't have the best range because of all the harnesses and everything, but you do get that ball peg in the waist. Let me bring the camera down just a little bit. So you get the ball peg in the waist, which lets you give him the full waist swivel, no problem at all. He does lean back just a tiny bit, but not too much because of how oversized his shell is compared to the rest of his body. He can lean forward some, and he can lean side to side a little bit. Don't get these figures expecting to get them into the most crazy poses. They're covered in stuff, so they're going to be in a hero pose mostly, and that's going to have to be what you want out of them in order to be satisfied. I imagine most six-scale collectors will be fine with that, so just be aware. All of his skirt area is soft and floaty, so you don't have to worry about that. It won't get in the way, but... This brown piece that looked kind of like uh, kind of like suede, it's all one piece that goes all the way around. So you're going to have to really bunch it up to pose the legs. But then you'll probably notice his pants are cloth. And they're very tight. And it looks like if you pose the hips, it's going to split the seam. So I'm not going to do that. I don't want to ruin the figure. But he does have ball hinge hips that are mostly T-jointed. They're slightly angled. You can technically bring them out to the side. But as I do that, you can see how the crotch, it looks like he's going to blow out his pants. So be aware that the hips are not going to be that poseable. For the knees, we have the plastic legs, no rubber bodysuit, so that's a good thing. We have a floaty knee pad, so that's cool. And we get almost 90 degrees out of the knee joint, so that's pretty nice. I like that. It's a lot better than Raphael. And then for the ankles, we have our standard ball peg. Not the best range of motion, but it's not super loose, and they don't feel like they're going to pop off as easily as some of the other ones. So 
Ultimately, he's got all of the good parts of the other guys, some bonus good parts, some parts not so great. You know, they all have some issues here and there, but ultimately, if you like the Turtles, you're probably going to like these figures. If you're a 1-6, if you're, wow, if you're a 1-6 scale collector, then you're most definitely going to like them because you're used to some of the limitations that you might experience with the rubber bodysuit and all of the extra cloth the soft goods. So I think uh, if you're a turtle fan and you're into these, you're thinking you might like them, I say go ahead and pick them up and give them a shot. I think you're gonna enjoy them. And uh, you should probably grab them before they sell out. Uh, so there it is, that's Donatello. We've done all of them now. So again, if you haven't, make sure you check out the reviews for the other guys so you can see them all. And stick around for the photos here at the end because you'll see them all together. So thanks for watching guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, we have new videos every single day, I talk about video games, action figures, movies, TV shows, all kinds of fun stuff, so make sure you subscribe, and in the meantime, keep collecting.